Hi, I'm 69 years old, or virtually about to become 69 years old, and I'm going to take on the Wahoo System 4DP Full Frontal Fitness Test. Now most cyclists would be familiar with the FTP test, which gives you your functional threshold power. Normally ridden over 20 minutes at your maximum effort, and then that figure 95% of that figure is taken as your FTP, in other words, the amount of power that you can generate for an hour. Divide that wattage by your weight in kilos, and that will give you your watts per kilo. And then you can base your training on that. Now, that only gives you one aspect of your fitness. You could be a sprinter, for example, and have a very high watts per kilo, very high power over a short period of time, but your FTP could be quite low. The Wahoo System 4DP Full Frontal Test looks at different avenues of a cyclist's fitness. For example, it looks at your aerobic capacity, your neuro neuromuscular power, your FTP, and your one minute power. And all of those are incorporated within the test. And at the end of the test, the app will work out what kind of athlete you are, whether you're a sprinter, whether you're a climber, whether you're like a time trialist, and then within the app, you get suggested fitness programs and um, uh, workouts that you can do within the app to improve or better what you already have or to improve on what you are not quite so good at. So. I'm a bit nervous about doing this because um, I've only been sort of seriously training for about a year. I've only been training with the Wahoo System app for the last 12 weeks. So I'm interested to see how I get on and also apprehensive. I did do what they call the half Monty test six weeks ago, which is basically a, um, a couple of sprints at the beginning and then there's, there's the normal standard ramp test and they work out some figures based on that. Um, so I'll be interested to see not only that I survive the hour long test, or interested to see whether my stats have gone up. So I'll come back, I'm going to video, video the uh, test and hopefully get that on YouTube at some time. Thanks. I am about to take on the Wahoo System 4DP Full Frontal Fitness Test. I must admit, um, I'm a bit nervous and I'm panicking already, but um, let's see how it goes. Well, we're just starting the warm up. Um, there'll be some instructions soon to show us what to do. But in the meantime, I'm just getting ready for the warm up. You can see the grey section there, it's about 10 minutes of warm up um, with a couple of um, sort of higher speed efforts before we get into the main test.
nervous already. Heart rate's up high, even on warm up. Must be uh, anxiety and adrenaline kicking in. <coughs> yeah, I think I was panicking a bit um, at the start, so hopefully that will settle down. But um, I shouldn't think my heart rate is going to get any lower than it is now as time goes on. see that white line running across the sort of bottom of the screen um, that is the FTP that was set at my half Monty test so when one of the work one one of the sort of parts of the workout come up to the white line you'll see that that's probably up to my FTP and obviously when the blue or the, the other colors drop down below that line that's below my FTP The reason I'm doing it from my phone and not from the television screen which is literally behind the fan is because I seem to get trouble with the Bluetooth connection um, and when I'm doing this test I don't want any problems so I'm doing it literally just by looking on my phone which is on a like an adapter uh, connected to my handlebars. It's telling me there not to use erg mode. Erg mode um, works out the power for you, but you need to be in level mode because whilst you get suggested power targets, the idea of a lot of these tests is to go as hard as you can. And erg mode would keep you at the suggested sort of wattage that's listed on the sort of workout. Yeah, the um, first sort of slightly hard effort coming up soon, um, just to sort of make sure I'm fully warmed up. See the power target go up in the uh, third window from the left to right at the top you'll see that the target got you see it going up now when that green line gets to the end that's when you start the the actual effort The target there says 158, um, so I need to do at least that or above. It's not, into, it's not too important um, that you make those targets, obviously you have to, have to try because it's under the warm up, but it's more important when you actually get into the main workout that you try and exceed the targets that they give you and you go 
all out and do your best. You notice the target's gone down to 99 watts now at 80 RPM. So this is just the cool down, um, getting ready for the next effort which will probably be a bit higher as it goes along to get you fully warmed up. Here comes the next effort to see the green marker going across. Once that gets to the end, then you go off as quick as you can. the target for this one is 217 watts so that's just over my FTP so it's really trying to push me uh, to warm me up ready for the main test Coming up is the final uh, warm-up um, effort um, and then there's a bit of rest and then come into the first of the five second sprints. like just over two minutes recovery and then the real hard work starts with the first five second maximum effort sprint. another reminder there to make sure that erg mode is off otherwise it will screw up the results the 
And that dinging was one of my grandfather clocks going off. It wasn't part of the um, app or the sort of test. Right, there's two five second sprints. Um, obviously, it's very hard to sort of pace this if this is the first time you've done a test like this, which it is for me. So what they do, they give you two five second maximum effort sprints and they'll take the results from the best one of the two. Right, 30 seconds to go to the sprint and it'll be all out, out the saddle, flat out as hard as I can go for five seconds. Here it comes. It's only five seconds, but you can tell how tough it is by listening to my breathing. It is um, pretty hard, even though it's only five seconds long. So we've got a sort of three and a half minute, roughly, um, recovery section, and then we'll have to do it all again. Five seconds to sprint and two minutes to get my breath back. So the screen's fuzzed for a moment, but the actual test is carrying on, so um, it will catch itself up in a moment. There we go. I'm in the second window from the left telling me I should be in zone one, which is up to 94 beats a minute, I think, for me. But in actual fact, if you look at my heart rate, it's 121, which puts me sort of um, quite away into zone two.
There we go, 30 seconds uh, to go again to the next sprint and again it's an all out maximum effort for 5 seconds. Five seconds to go. See how hard it is by it misses my breathing again even though my heart rate isn't that high at the moment and it's gone down quite quickly the breathing takes quite a while to catch up Right, the next effort is probably one of the sort of hardest ones. It's a five minute effort um, to test your maximum aerobic power. So what you have to do is you, sh you ride as hard as you can for five minutes. The problem is, uh, is with pacing. Um, you don't want to go out too hard and then blow up halfway through. And you don't want to go out too easy and have to push it near the end to try and get some decent figures. So you really got to sort of try and go along for say two minutes at a certain pace and then try and hold that to the end but obviously make sure that two minutes is at a pace that you can just about keep up to the end. This is quite tough because um, I've never done a test like this before so the pacing is very difficult to judge but um, hopefully, well I know when I did it I actually got it quite right I think. Anyway, 20 seconds to go and this is a hard bit of the test. Right, it has started but for some reason the screen's frozen again but it will catch up with itself in a moment. It set me a target of 244 watts which was what the half Monty um, test I did six weeks ago estimated so what I'm going to try and do is keep over the 250 if I can but um, as you can hear already my breathing is really laboured the heart rate's up to 139 and I'm only not even a minute into the test
halfway and you can hear how hard it is and how hard my breathing is heart rate's up to 143 really trying to push it now um, I seem to have managed to squeeze a few more watts out in the last minute um, but as you can hear I'm completely wasted and I've only got to hold on for another 30 seconds This is my heart rate does drop down pretty quick as soon as I stop, which is a good sign. That was hard. In a minute it tells you to get off the bike and have a wander around um, which is a bit strange for a fitness test but um, I took advantage of that even though it's only for a minute or so. My heart rate has dropped right down to 116 now pretty quickly to be honest. Almost down into zone one. The app tells you to get off the bike and have a, as they say, waddle around. <coughs> 
So that's what I'll do for a few minutes. Twenty minutes uh, FPC test coming up in um, a few moments' time. Screen's frozen again, um, it will catch itself up. So now we've got the 20 minute FTP test. Um, it won't be at quite a, a, such a high uh, wattage as the five minute test, but it will be um, at a wattage that I should be able to hold for 20 minutes, even though it's gonna be really, really difficult. The good thing about this test is because you've done all the efforts before and you're very tired, they do take the full average of the time at 20 minutes, the full average of the watts. They don't take it 95% as in another FTP test. So, um, uh, what's it, 15 seconds and we're off. Um, and I'm going to try and hold around about 210, um, 210 watts for the whole thing. So, we we'll see how we go. Now this may be a bit boring because it goes on for 20 minutes. So um, when you watch this, feel free to skip forward if you don't want to sit and watch me suffer for 20 minutes. aiming for uh, in this test for my FTP to be 3.5 watts per kilo which for someone of my age is 69 and um, that will be quite good so that will be around about 210 watts will put me at uh, 3.5 watts a kilo I think I'm 61 kilos at the moment so I might need to go a little bit over that but that's the sort of kind of target I'm aiming for This part of the test is definitely a mental game. Uh, as you can sort of hear, I'm sort of breathing really heavily. My heart rate's creeping up, 137 beats a minute at the moment, and I'm barely two minutes in. I've got 18 minutes to go. So what I try and do when I'm doing the test is not to look at the clock too much, otherwise you just get demoralized. So it's a case of just focusing, keeping your mind on what you're doing, and just forgetting the time and just plodding on as hard as you can.
screen's frozen again, so hopefully it will um, catch itself up in a moment. So I noticed that my heart rate monitor during this test decided to lose connection with the app. So from now on, there's no heart rate shame, which is a bit disconcerting. But um, uh, I know it's pretty high, uh, I can just tell. But it is a case of uh, um, getting used to being out of breath and not panicking, knowing that you can deal with the effort and sort of just keeping control and keeping calm and, um, you know, just carrying on. This is def definitely a psychological test, um, as you can see, all this puffing and panting and I'm still only 8 minutes in, I've got another 12 minutes to go. So it's a really um, difficult test because it plays on your mind and you've really, really got to switch off mentally. If you notice on the third little screen from the left, at the very top corner, the target for this effort is 197. That was the my FTP um, from the half Monty test, which gave me about 3.23 watts per kilo. So this is why I'm hoping to improve on it this time. Halfway. 
Yeah, coming up to halfway um, through the test, and this is a real mental struggle for me. Just out of interest, when I started um, training before I got onto Wahoo system, when I first started training about a year and a little bit ago, and I got on my bike trainer, even though I wasn't totally unfit, um, I hadn't cycled for a while, and I could barely do 120 watts for 10 minutes. So it just shows you what regular training can do uh, over a period of time. test you should definitely do on fresh legs uh, there's no way you can beat this test if you're tired you really need to have done the week's preparation that Wahoo sort of suggest before you do this because um, you'd never keep this up on tired legs
five minutes. struggling now to keep up the power but I've only got three odd minutes to go so psychologically um, that's good because you've done 17 minutes and just three minutes to go that gives you a mental boost. It looks like the screen's frozen again so hopefully uh, it will catch up, oh there we go, it's caught up now. I'm still keeping above the 200 watts, which is good, but I really want to keep it above 210 if I can. really trying to pick it up in the last couple of minutes just to sort of get the best figures I can
That was the hardest 20 minutes on a bike I've ever done. So we've got a little bit of recovery and another little section off the bike for a wander one, around one coming up. section left. Flat out one minute. The app tells you to get off your bike again for a walk around, so that's what I'm doing. the walk around over with now we've got I think it's three minutes to go before the one minute effort so this is one minute at max and it's a case of power out as fast as you can go until you fade and just keep on going for a minute a minute doesn't seem long but it's a hell of a long time when you're giving it everything One minute to go, and then it's all out for one minute. Just getting in gear ready because obviously you've got to try and match the sort of power that you want with the cadence so you're not spinning too fast but you're not spinning too slow either and you will change the cadence four seconds to go
you see the power is dropping quite rapidly and in a moment you'll see six seconds in I've finished so that has probably screwed the figures up a little bit because I should have carried on right to the end Green's frozen again, but hopefully it will catch itself up before the end. God. That was a hard work. I wasn't sure um, when my rider profile came up, so um, with this video I stopped it before it came up so I'm going to try and video my sort of figures and maybe add it on to the end of this video